for me, what keeps me going is that it's just a thrill. It's a surprise every time. You know, every piece of artwork that you come, I, come out with, I think that you learn something about yourself and you learn something about the subject matter. And I think that that's a thrill, the alchemy of it all. You know, artists tend to be, you know, when I say artists, I mean car designers, car builders, painters, musicians, that kind of stuff. I think artists tend to be naturally inclined to be faithful and prophetic individuals. And what I mean by that is that, you know, we're constantly taking faith in that something is going to be great. And we're prophesizing what it's going to look like. And I think that that's naturally um, invigorating for our spirit. That, that's really, I think, what does, does it for me is it's this sort of jumping into the unknown, exploring the void. I felt like we were pushed even harder and better with having kids. I always felt like when we had our kid, uh, the financial burden was lightened. Like somehow things just worked out more. And then we had our second kid and it was like the financial burden seemed to be lifted even more. And that's totally contrary to what everybody says. But for me, it was, it was like, you know, we were meant to have those kids in our life and being a part of the artwork and influencing us and being part of it. Cars are icons and create history because somebody 50 years ago made a really cool one. You know, somebody realized at some point that chopping a Merc top improved the overall look of the car. So I want to reinvigorate that. I want to do stuff that's unique and possibly overlooked, which is COEs, station wagons, you know, cars like that that are maybe not the most commonly customized. And I want to show them that they can be. You know, we call it like uh, neo-traditionalism, you know, so it's like it's like an approach to, to traditional with, with cars that, that wouldn't have been done traditionally back in the 50s, but we're making them look like they could. Well, I, in my mind, I always see our car builds as a little bit of a failure because in my mind, when I make artwork, it's not done till it's perfect. And I just keep that artwork till it's perfect, till it's perfect, till it's perfect. Well, when we do a car build, we have multiple people on the job and not everybody, you know, does things perfect because we're all human and we, we fall short sometimes. And that's the hardest thing for me is the failure I see when we do a car build. Ultimately, it's a success because the cars look great and they fulfill what I meant them to be. But then I start thinking about all the things that could be better and where we fell short and the timelines we fell short on. That's hard for me and I feel like I fail at that. And um, so that's something I definitely think I need to work on. You know, I think you have to be willing to die for your art. And I think that um, if you believe in it that much, you're gonna succeed and you're gonna, no matter what challenges come to you, you're gonna, you're gonna succeed. It's worth it to me, the risk is worth it.